Hello and welcome to this new tips and tricks video, our top 5 veggie and vegan outdoor recipes. We recently released a video all about cooking in which we talk about our multi-field cooking setup, what food we carry and how we store it. You can find that up here. So this video is a follow-up to the other one in which we're going to talk about our favorite meals on the road. What we're cooking depends a lot on the region we're cycling in because we try to buy regional vegetables and fruits. For example, when we've been still cycling in southern Europe, our favorite recipe were noodles with tomatoes, feta cheese and honey. But since we've been cycling in Central and South America now, our favorite meal is something else and that's what we're gonna start with now. Recipe number one, our current favorite, noodles with avocados. There are several reasons why we love this recipe so much. Not only because avocados are available everywhere and quite cheap since Mexico, but also because it's very, very delicious, very easy to make and very fast. Because you only need one pot, you only need to boil the noodles and then mash the avocados and that's it. So let's have a look at what ingredients we need. Two avocados, ripe ones of course, so you can properly mash them. Then one pack of noodles, just some spices and that's it. We season the avocados with salt, chili flakes and we have a seasoning with garlic, pepper and some other stuff, which is quite nice. And today we also have some beans. We usually don't have these, um, but that's gonna add up to that quite nice as well. And that's what we're gonna start with now. Day number two, recipe number two. You may not believe it, but while it was freezing cold yesterday, today we're about a thousand meters lower in the mountains and it's pretty warm here and also pretty windy. So today we're gonna cook rice with stir-fried vegetables, probably the dish we cook the most, just because it's so versatile. Buy different vegetables and you have a different dish. So today we got onions, bell peppers and carrots. And here are our spices. Um, we love to use soy sauce with vegetables just because it adds such a nice flavor. And then we're gonna use the same spices as yesterday. So we have some salt, the chili flakes, and the all-in-one seasoning with pepper, garlic, and co. I already prepared the rice with one and a half of these cups. So one and a half cups of rice, and then we add three cups of water, just some salt, and that's how we cook the rice. And because Toby is allergic to raw carrots, we're gonna add these carrots when they're cut um, just to the rice, so they're nicely boiled. Um, they add a nice flavor, and in a pan or pot, they just take forever to fry them, so it's much better to just cook them. And also, we have some beans left over from yesterday. Um, so we're gonna add them in the end as well. You can of course also add some other stuff like tofu or whatever you like. All right, so let's start with boiling the rice.
day three, recipe number three. Today it's time for noodles again and this time we're gonna cook them with a fresh tomato sauce with beans. So what do we need for this recipe? Of course we need noodles, then we have some fresh tomatoes, we have two onions, garlic, very important for the good taste, and then we have some beans and of course our spices again. We also like to cook this dish with chickpeas, um, but we've been cycling through rather small towns the last days, so we weren't able to get chickpeas. Um, so yeah, we just gotta cook beans um, and that's just the reality of cycling through remote areas. You don't always get what you want. Apart from the ingredients, we need again two pots for this recipe. In one pot I'm already soaking the beans a little bit. In the other one uh, we're just gonna cook the noodles and um, while the noodles are cooking I'm gonna cut the vegetables um, later we're gonna first cook the beans a little bit and then we're just gonna add the garlic the onions and the tomatoes to that we've been cycling through the mountains the last days or actually weeks and we're climbing up to 1500 meters each day that's me that means we're burning a lot of calories which is why we're cooking with a lot of carbohydrates as this is the main fuel the body burns when exercising. But we try to supplement the carbohydrates with fruits and vegetables that are high in protein such as avocado or beans. But the two ne next two days will hopefully be a little bit easier. So tomorrow we're gonna cook something that's a bit lower in carbohydrates and higher in protein. So stay tuned. And now we're gonna start cooking. absolutely delicious and while it's getting dark now we're gonna have a little dessert a coffee and mandarins number four recipe number four and you can see the weather isn't the best today so we put up our fly sheet and are gonna cook inside with the cooker outside of course so today we're gonna cook a protein rich quinoa salad and for the quinoa salad we need these ingredients the quinoa of course then we got some of the beans we already had yesterday and then fresh tomatoes, avocado, cucumber and platanos or plantains um, which we're gonna fry in the end. So all of this only cost us $3.50 at the market and uh, speaking about costs, the petrol for our cooker which lasts us about a week only costs us about 20 to 25 cents. So cooking on the road, fresh cooking, is actually the easiest way to save money while traveling. All right, let's start cooking.
number five already, which means recipe number five. As you can see, we're still at the same spot and that's because today we're gonna show you how we eat our everyday breakfast, which is oatmeal with fruits. We love this so much because it's very versatile, it's quick and easy to make and it's um, easy to transport as well. We can get it anywhere and it gives you a lot of energy. So what do we need for our typical breakfast? We have oatmeal, of course, and then just for some crunch and better taste, we uh, like to have granola. Then we have panela, which is like a cane sugar, um, just to give it some um, sweetness. And then we either use dried fruit or when we're able to get fresh fruits, we prefer that. And then we have um, usually bananas. Um, before we got the panela, we used to make the oatmeal with honey or syrup, but the panela is way better because we don't have to transport extra liquid. It's just the, the sugar itself and we don't put a lot of it in it, but just a little bit for a better taste. Usually we don't do our breakfast in this pot. Um, we usually use our two bowls, but uh, one of the bowls is still full with our leftover from yesterday. Um, so we're just going to use one pot. And um, we like to have some coffee with our breakfast as well. And we often just boil some water in the evening already, put it in our thermos. And then we have hot water in the morning. But yesterday it was getting late and the weather was just not nice. So we didn't do that. But we decided to do it this morning. So we boil some water for our coffee. And we're also going to use the hot water for our oatmeal. You can also do it with cold water. It doesn't really matter that much, but with hot water, it is a bit nicer. We're done with breakfast now and it finally looks like the weather is starting to improve a little bit. So as a side note, we carry about 7 liters of water and of that we use about 2 liters for cooking, so for breakfast, dinner and doing the dishes. For more, more remote areas we also carry a 10 liter water sack which we can fill up and we are also able to cook uh, with a bit less water by for example using fewer ingredients. So yeah, these were our top five veggie and vegan outdoor recipes. We cooked these under real circumstances on five consecutive days. So you see, it's not hard to cook healthy, delicious and uh, cheap uh, on the road in more remote areas. Of course, you can also do a bit um, bigger or experimental things. For example, one time we did pizza on our camping stove, but that took a lot of time. Um, so if you want to do that, you need motivation and time. So what is your favorite recipe on the road? We would love to hear from you. Please comment below. And thank you for watching this video. We hope to see you in the next one.